Hey folks, today I'm bringing you a beginner's guide to Payday the Heist. I think the game is one of the most fun co-op games to play, so make sure you don't underperform and watch this guide. I will explain the basics of the HUD. I will give you a lot of tips and I will even talk a bit about the different types of police officers. Let's start off with the HUD. At first the HUD might look a little bit confusing. Let's take a pause here and show you over the different parts of the HUD. In the bottom left of the HUD you can see a portrait of the person you selected. If that bar is green, then you are doing good. When it changes to red, it means you have less than one third of your health bar left and it's highly suggested to go heal up. It would also show if you have any armor. Don't forget your health does not regenerate passively, so you will need to find a med bag. Beneath that you can find your reputation. You can compare that basically to your level. Right next to it, it shows how much cash you have in comparison to the amount of cash you still need to level up. You can pretty much compare this to experience. Above that is the information of your teammates. It shows their location, what they're carrying, their health and what mask they're wearing. Make sure to look at that every once in a while, you can easily miss that one of your teammates is down or needs your help. To the right of that, there are the amount of hostages you have left. These are hostages that you have cuffed. Simply shouting at them does not count as a hostage, sadly. In the bottom right, you can find the amount of bullets you have left or the amount of bullets that you have. I have a trick about reloading that I will show later on in the video. That's it for the HUD. I wanted to talk about one thing in the settings and that is your FOV. I like playing at max FOV to avoid motion sickness and it gives me a clearer view. Trying to find an FOV that works for you. A lot of people seem to like around 90. I play with 100 but I think 90 is a fine setting to start out with or just enjoy. Moving on to tips, let me first show you that reloading tip that I promised you. If you can keep one bullet in your gun before reloading, your reload time will be faster. This is really important when you're under fire and you don't have a lot of time to reload. Just watch your comparison that you're looking at right now. Tip number two is that you shouldn't wander off alone unless your team knows about it. You can actually get taken down pretty fast and it is very annoying to go revive somebody who is behind 10 enemies on the second floor. Stick to your team, that way you will be more successful. Tip number 3 is that you should not run into smoke grenades. Just wait until they're cleared, there is no need to run into them, the police will just kill you. Tip number 4 is to pay attention to the bottom of your hut. When the police are assaulting, a big ASSAULT shows up. This way you can time your reloads and your health regens. Tip number 5 is that you should always look for a place to hide and have an exit in mind. I've often been trapped by police. Always have an exit strategy and don't get cornered. There's a lot of cover, so use it to avoid, for gun to avoid gunfire. Tip number 6 is that you should not try to kill bulldozers by shooting their armor. It's pointless. You need to shoot them through their glass helmet. Their armor is basically a bullet sponge. Tip number 7 is that you should never be alone when tasers are deployed. They can just kill you whilst you're being tased. Tip number 8 is that you should crouch whenever possible. It gives you more accuracy and it hides you behind cover. Tip number 9 is that you should shoot cameras so the police get reduced intel on you. And tip number 10 is that you should circle strafe around an officer with a shield. Shooting the shield is pointless and I see a lot of people just shooting at the shield wasting their ammo. You have to hit them in the back or the side. By circle strafing you will accomplish this. So let's discuss the different types of police officers. Bulldozers are pretty much walking tanks. You can only kill them by shooting through their glass helmet. Their armor is bulletproof. Cloakers are like ninjas. They move in packs, they're very fast, they can easily wipe your team out. You really need to pay attention to them. Tasers are annoying and they will stun you in place. Always make sure they have a teammate around who can kill them. I've seen people getting solo zapped to death way too often. Shields can be killed by circle strafing like I said before. Snipers should be taken out with long range weapons, they can easily catch you off guard. This was my beginner's guide for Payday the Heist, I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe if you like my content. Thank you for watching guys.